What is happening, everybody? This is the Big Jew. Welcome back to Chrono Trigger. No combo run. Alright, let's uh, take uh, Marley back to uh, the castle. Let's visit Luca first, see what's going on here. So, yeah, well, well okay. Apparently, Luca's trying to figure out how to make a uh, robot. <laughs> I wonder what for. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, if you have any final business you want to do at the uh, Millennial Square, if you have anything else to buy, uh, you might want to do it now because this is a point of no return uh, segment of the game. So, yeah. That said, let's go ahead and uh, into the forest and uh, take Marley home. You know, this way we can get it on in her place, too, because you already got it on in Chrono's uh, place. So, you know. I like how Luca was the... Uh, was a good wingman in uh, leaving Marley and Chrono alone. Good move there. See, that's how you do it, guys. Uh, she was hanging out at the fair. Didn't these people know? What? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, because if you capture us. If, if you kidnap somebody, we, you would definitely bring them back to the place where you kidnapped them from. Yeah, that's the way. Uh-huh. Yeah. Chrono's, you know, my fuck buddy. Excuse, excuse the language. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Whoa, easy there. Easy there, tiger. Oh, whoa. Jeez. Who has more power anyways, the Chancellor or the, or the uh, Princess? But anyways, yeah, we got arrested and put on trial for, for supposedly kidnapping the Princess, even though the Princess didn't press charges, nor did she file a police report. I don't understand this. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. That's pretty sickening, buddy. Yes, cause, you know, you get the death penalty for, uh, kidnapping and then returning whoever you kidnapped unharmed. Yeah, there you go. Right. There was no abduction, it's true. Pretty much. But yeah, either, I mean, despite what the, uh, despite what your attorney's saying, uh, you have to admit your guilt anyways to get on the good side of the, uh, jury, so. And of course they're gonna twist the facts, yeah, that that did not happen, it did not happen that way. No. She slammed into me. Yep, both disappeared. Okay, whatever. Whatever, pal. <laughs> I would throw a Phoenix Wright uh, reference with the objection thing, but nah. It, nah. And yeah, if you saved the... if you brought the girl's cat... Then you will get... Uh, you will get, I guess, a point. You'll get, you know, you'll get, you'll get, uh, some stuff for, or you know what I mean. It increases the probability of getting a not guilty charge, so. Nope. She was hot. Her royalty has nothing to do with it. She was a beautiful girl who wanted to want to hook up with me. Damn it. So yeah, it's a pretty short trial. And yeah, they're all gonna 
submit their do what they gotta do, I don't care. The outcome is the same whether or not you get charged with guilt or not, so usually you'll get a uh, six to one in favor of uh, not guilty if you do everything right. Uh, sometimes you'll get a sometimes you'll get you'll get seven nothing not guilty, but usually you'll get six to one, just like it is here. So yeah. I like how the jury is all old men. That, that's great. Yeah. That, that, that just well, I mean, I guess that's how it would be in the uh, in one in the year one thousand. So shortest trial ever. How does that make any sense? Explain it to me. How does that make any sense? Oh, whatever. Oh, I guess, like, you know, if you run off, if, if you, like, hang out with, like, royalty, like, they would have to, like, uh, I guess, like, maybe, like, breaking curfew, I guess that, that that's what you could, what you could call it. Like, you know, like, if you, if you, like, are involved with royalty breaking curfew or something, then, uh, then I guess that is, like, breaking the law. I don't know what that means to have a solitary confinement for three days in jail just because you hung out with uh, the princess. Just because you hung out with a princess. I mean, I don't know. don't know how the laws were back in the day. I know of, like, certain parts of culture that weren't, like, created yet. Like, everything revolved around religion and stuff, but that's about all I know. Jesus, what's wrong with this chancellor? The chancellor is a dick. Almost makes me wish I didn't kill Yakra. Almost makes me wish I didn't save the uh, real chancellor. I just left him in that chest. I didn't know his ancestors were going to be such a holes. Anyway, so yeah, now we're in jail. But we get a free. Uh, in stay there, so that's pretty cool. And we organize this here. And I think you get a, a bunch of ethers in this, in that little pink bag there. Depending on how many not guilty uh, charges you get, I think, de uh, determines how many ethers. Oh, okay, never mind. I think it's like, whatever, I don't know. You just got th I just got three ethers. Whatever. Anyway, to break out, you can either, well, to advance the storyline, you can either wait for the three days to pass, or you can just uh, annoy the guards so much that they open the gate, and then you'll be able to escape. Ow! Damn! Right? I like how slow this guy walks. It's like, really? That was easy. That was too easy. Where, where am I going? I'm getting out of here. Really? Yeah, these cards have 60 hit points, and of course I'm doing 59 and 58. You could use your slash attack and kill him in one shot, though. Which is not a good, which is not a bad idea. Alright, let me go ahead and save here. I don't want to don't want to go anywhere that, near those shields yet. Want to uh, explore this place a little bit. Explore the prison. Why not? And why? Because we can. You sneak up. A, you sneak up on the guard here. You get to kill him in one shot. And oh, never mind. For some, I mean, I think he's supposed to give you. Uh, Mid tonics, but whatever. I guess not. <laughs> Got some good treasure in here. And enemies, if you don't take treasure fast enough. Uh oh. Who's this? Oh, crap. Well, we gotta fight the, uh. Omnicrone? What the hell? 
warden is more like it, but whatever. Right? Is that what they call, like, a leader of the... Of the prison guards? A warden, right? That was easy enough. We got an ether form. Huh! They'll pay me enough for this. I say that at my job all the time. <laughs> yeah, I do not take my job seriously. Anyways, get past these guys without getting into a fight. Just walk right in between them. Yeah, good stuff there. Alright, let's open this, see what's up. Eh, just some carcass. And of course it doesn't open all the way. Lame. Alright, let's keep exploring here. Uh oh. Oh, we got more guards. Alright, let's see if I can kill them one shot now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Very good. Sweet. Oh, whoa, yeah. You can either fight these guards or you can just, or you can, or you can, uh, pull a solid snake and, uh, avoid them. It doesn't really make a difference, to be quite honest. But yeah, now you start getting bit tonks from these guys, so. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, so if you let the three days pass, you'll come, you'll, you'll go here. And, uh, and pretty much, um, Luca will save you, so. Yeah. But you won't be able to save this guy, so. What's up, man? Okay, will do. And we will want to stop that, by the way. And get some really good stuff. Don't talk to those carcasses, just leave them alone. Leave them alone, and by leave them alone, I mean approach them. I think, uh, slash attack works pretty well on these guys. Yeah, look at that, that's amazing. It's one of the better magic attacks in this game. Or in the uh, first part of the game here. Boom. 200 damage, yes. That's like mid-game damage. It's amazing. It's good stuff. We get Pumped Mail, which I don't care about, because I already stole one from Frog. But whatever. It's cool, I guess. Alright, we'll go ahead and sneak. Never mind. That was a fail. I thought I could get around him. Oh well. Eh, take him down one shot. Get some XP. I'm going to cover my hit points here. There we go. Alright. Get another fork in the road. And some more treasure. Here, shelter, very good. And nothing over here. Oh, but check this out. Check this out. Ready? The hell? <laughs> it's like the he, it's like he was just like waiting to rot. Just waiting for you to just walk up to him so that he can rot away. <laughs> Anyways, you want to go down? Go over here. Now, and now we can climb the walls. Yeah, good stuff. This leads to more treasure that I really want to get. You can get a really good uh, weapon upgrade for Chrono here. So, shelter and money and a load sword. Check this out. Yeah, a little bit better than steel saber. Uh, that's going to be our best weapon for a while, so, yeah, good stuff. Awesome. Sweet. Whoop, I did not want to do that. 
have to go up here. Very good. And that about does it for the uh, prison. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And now I can kill these guys without uh, worrying about doing uh, 59, 58 damage because I have the increased attack power of the uh, load sword, which, you know, hey, increased our damage output, output by quite a bit, to be quite honest. <laughs> yeah, a, a change in like one attack power is pretty uh, significant in this game, so. Yeah. The hell? Hey, it's Luca. What's up? I didn't really need your help, yeah. <laughs> Alright then, let's go. Before we do anything, I want to talk to this guy here and get lots of mid tonics, which we're going to need for next time on Chrono Trigger No Combo Run. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.